recording now. Tell me your story if you could. Right, my name is Lam. I'm a Vietnam vet. You can say I don't look it, but I'm 62 years old. I've been shot seven times and stabbed three. In this cold world of ours. But it ain't the world, because the world don't do anything. It's us. We're the dominion, the power over Earth, but yet we coming to kill, steal, and destroy one another for no reason at all. When we got hate in our heart, we should turn it around. Whenever you disappointed in something or somebody, walk away. Just walk away. If you argue with a woman, then you're a woman yourself. If the woman argue with you, be a big man and walk away. No matter what the situation stands or is about kids, you don't touch them, you don't shake them, you don't put your hands on them. You guide them, give them guidance, and show them love. And let them know that the only person in the world that will always love them, that will always be their real friend, is our Lord Jesus Christ. I just want the world to know that I'm still here, no matter what. And I'm still going to continue to teach and give everybody the word. Because in this life, all you got is your word. No matter what you have, when you see something that God directs you, give it unconditionally. Don't worry about it, because God will give it back 10 times more. Be nice and considerate and friendly with others. Because we are all sisters and brothers in God's time. So I just want to thank y'all for having time listening to my message that God told me to give it to. Mm, amen. That's awesome. Um, can you tell me more about the being stabbed? And I mean, I love that you already told me about where you get your hope come from, where your hope comes from. But um, can you tell me about how the difficult times have happened? Yeah. I was a cab driver. Cab driver, okay. Mm -hmm. I served in the war from 1972 to 1980. Eight years. Mm -hmm. Nothing never happened to me in that service. For three months when I got back home, I brought a brownstone on 145th Street in Edgecombe. So, people, was a hire like we thought they would be back then. When you wasn't with the union, you, ain't, you wasn't with a job. You didn't know somebody, you didn't have it. My first incident was with my best friend. He went and raped and raped my sister. I was a drug smuggler as I was driving taxi from state to state. But you would never figure that a 13-year-old kid is just as desperate as you for money. You were 13? No, the kid who shot me oh. was 13 years old on 145th Street in Edgecombe. Oh. Coming out one of my dope stops. I had just dropped off two keys of cocaine, 15 pounds of weed. And I already tracked and sent the money out. The boy thought I had a bag of money. I was just dumping my truck. The boy shot me up under my heart. Shot you the, under your heart? In the stomach. the stomach. And grazed my eye. And grazed your eye? You see that? Yeah, Mark. This up here? Yeah. Whoa, that's from a bullet? Yeah. And as I hit the ground, he continued to shoot four more times. And today I'm sitting here letting y'all people know we all gotta leave this earth one day. I got lung cancer now. You have lung cancer. And I ain't got too much lung to stay. Oh. By the end of 2016, I know I'm not going to be. Wow. 
and keep trying to keep me in the hospital. But I'm shot off from the things that I've seen and done in my life. And the things that I've done and seen, you would never want to go there. I'm a real long vet. Honorable this. Honorable this, child. And honor scholar. I was a green beret for five years. I even worked for the political government. What? I even worked for the political government. You ran for government? Uh, work. Oh, you worked for it. Okay. Yeah. I was an agent. <laughs> oh, okay. My stabbing came from another man's wife who thought I was fucked. Mm. Her best friend husband said that they seen us together doing something. Mm. That's true. He was in the garage, and y'all people know who I'm talking about. And if y'all hear my voice and not see my face, you know who I am. But when a person says they're going to do something for me, Thank you. Let's keep sitting if you want to. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to see if we can get a refill? I'll get a refill. Yeah. Are there three refills or no? Thank you. She's filling it up. You got it on the board. Look that. Thanks. You got a skinny house. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. A steak knife? Mm -hmm. Oh, he stabbed you with a steak knife? Yeah. Wow, because you're messing with the, with his girl. Yeah. What you ain't do nothing, man, but I don't know what you're doing, so. You know, we had to go out a while ago. All we did was kiss. Mm. And I just told her, no, I can't do this with you, with your family and best friend. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Back in them early days, people didn't attend to like the mixed up and like the devil. You know, as Sam Cook said, it takes two to be a fool. It only takes one to be a man and walk away. Huh. I didn't ever walk away. You didn't ever walk away, so that's why now you say it takes a man to walk away. Mm -hmm. Wow, any last words before I have to head out? No. I the world ahead is. What's that? I want the world ahead is. And this is for everybody on this God gave it and so help me God take this with you to your grave. Well, this is my last secret. This is my last dollar. And that's a lie. Nothing on this earth is your last except for your last breath. Remember that. That's the truth. Yeah, I hear you. So, you, you, I thought I heard you say your name was Larry, but did I hear you wrong? No, you didn't. That's my name. Okay, what is, what's your name? Larry. 
There you go, so I did hear it, right? Okay, gotcha.